It didn't take long for task force investigators to find common threads woven between the McIntosh death and several of the others. His body was found only a few miles from where the bodies of two other victims were found, and he, like six others, was undressed. And today, the medical examiner's office confirmed another similarity, death by possible asphyxiation. This is a fast food restaurant on the corner of Georgia Avenue and Windsor Street. It is a restaurant where Joseph Jojo Bell used to hang out and work. Bell's body was found on Easter Sunday. It's now been learned that Michael McIntosh also used to hang out here on this corner at the restaurant. And it's been learned that Michael McIntosh knew Jojo Bell. McIntosh lived only a few doors down from the restaurant, and neighbors saw him on many occasions playing basketball with Bell. He is described as being small for his 23 years and was slow, according to friends. Not normal, they said, like the others. He fits almost exactly the last two adult victims on the list. Investigators combed the neighborhood today. They were told McIntosh bragged shortly before he disappeared three weeks ago that he was making money by driving in and out of town with a man but would not say who it was or how they made the money. Detectives have also found a man who lived with the victim. They're hoping he can provide some much-needed information in this case because, as in the other cases, not much was taken from the scene. Ernie Bjorkman, Action News Tonight.